Welcome to the AutoCAD uh, tutorial. In this video, we are going to explore the draw ribbons. And uh, see, here is the draw ribbon. And in this draw ribbon, there are uh, various uh, tools starting from line, polyline, circle, arc, rectangle, again uh, using center point, ellipse, you can, and uh, hatch. And if you click this drop down arrow, you will get more command. Okay, so you can uh, you know, create more lines and this spy line, construction line, rays. See, I'm gonna explain only a few commands which we are gonna use often. The first command in the draw ribbon is line. Either you can click here in the icon or you can simply type L. So L is the shortcut for line. Okay. So L enter. So once you press L enter, now in the command prompt it asks specify first point. So wherever you want to specify first point, you can just move to that area and click. So by this way I have specified the first point. Just click. That's it. Then you move the mouse across and you will get a line. See, once you have clicked the first point, then if you go and read uh, here in the command prompt, it asks specify next point. So wherever uh, you want to create a line, so wherever you want to create the next point, you, you just place there and click. So that's it. Now one line has created automatically next line that's initiated okay so if you keep, keep on clicking where you want to create lines you will get multiple lines like this okay but this is not the way i want a line so i want my line to start exactly at 0 comma 0 so to quit from this command i'm gonna press escape so now i have quit from this command so i have created a series of lines using line command but now I want to create a line which has to start from 0 comma 0 and for that again I am gonna type L enter now I need to specify first point so I have to move the cursor and exactly I have to click 0 comma 0 so which is impossible even if you if you keep close to x and y and if you click it is not 0 comma 0 uh, say for example i'll show you see uh, somehow i kept very close to 0 comma 0 and uh, i clicked so for uh, this explanation i'm gonna end by clicking another point so i'm gonna press escape now let me zoom in see this is my 0 comma 0 but my point is here starting point so this is not exactly 0 comma 0 suppose if i wanna draw a line which has to start from 0 comma 0 then how i have to do is again i will type l for line and enter so now in the command prompt is it asks first point so there i need to specify 0 comma 0 just 0 comma 0 don't press any enter before typing both x and y x comma y then press enter that's it now your line has started exactly from 0 comma 0 and if you want to now end the line at uh, say 10 comma 0 so in x 10 and in y 0 that means horizontal line so again in the command prompt click and type 10 comma 0 just type 10 comma 0 then press enter so that's it now say okay, i'm gonna press escape so now i have created a line which has started at 0 comma 0 and which has ended at 10 comma 0 and when creating a line see Another in, in important aspect is, see I am going to type L 
for line and enter so i'm gonna randomly click anywhere for uh, the demo purpose so i just click now see i know my starting point and the ending point doesn't matter but my line has to be horizontal see uh, for creating a horizontal line see, i cannot uh, now like uh, keep on moving the cursor like this and click click the second point okay but that is very difficult see sometimes even uh, you know you feel that this is horizontal i have clicked i now by assuming that this line is horizontal and i press escape see if you zoom in so this line is not horizontal somehow this point is on the upper side and this point is on the lower side so then how to create the horizontal line and I'll, I'll do it now so again i'm typing l for line command enter so i'm gonna specify i have to specify the first point so again first point i have clicked it then uh, see for this if you if you move your cursor you have some tools at the bottom okay and this first tool is ortho ortho mode okay shortcut for activate this auto mode is the f8 key so you have here see auto mode in the bracket f8 either you can press f8 to switch on and switch off the auto mode or using cursor you can move here and click see now i'm gonna click this so that means i have initiated the auto mode so either it shows horizontal or if i move my cursor see See, please remember i have not clicked the second point okay i have not created the second point i have just only created the first point so if you switch on the auto mode either you can draw a horizontal or vertical line there is no other line is possible so if you want to create exactly horizontal or a vertical line please make sure that you have switched on the auto mode either by pressing F8 on the keyboard or the icon which is here. Okay, so I switched on the auto mode and then I'm gonna click. So I'm gonna press escape. So if I zoom in, so this line is exactly horizontal line. And even if you want to create a vertical line, L enter. I'm gonna specify the first point by clicking, then see. If you want to create horizontal, you place the mouse on the right side or left side. If you want to create vertical, place the mouse on top or bottom of the first point that we have created. So I'm going to place the cursor top of the first point, then I'm going to click. So that's it. So I have you know, perfectly have created the horizontal and vertical line. If this is how you need to work with the line command so the next uh, command is the rectangular command okay so either you can click here rectangular command or now in in the keyboard you can type r e c t so click rectangle so now you need to specify the first corner point so i'm gonna click first corner so if you drag the mouse bar to the bottom or top or to the you know, left side or anywhere then you can click again so that's it now we have created a perfect rectangle so like rectangle square anything you can create like this okay and the next command is arc so there are so many ways in which you can draw an arc so if you click here the downward drop down arrow so you'll get a three point arc starting center and end point the start center and end 
and uh, the third one is that center and you can specify the angle of arc see there are so many options here uh, you can explore on your own so i'll explain you how to create a three point arc. just click three point arc then wherever you want to create the first point see he even if you read the command prompt if you get clear specify start point of arc so I have clicked the starting point. Okay. Now, if you read the command prompt, specify second point of arc. Since this is three point arc, second point has to be the midpoint in that arc. So, if if this is the second point, then click it. Then see specify end point. Since it is three point arc, so you need to give only three points. So, third is the end point. So, wherever you want to create. So whatever the shape of arc you want, you can click. So here is our second point. This is our first point. So if you click at the first point, you will get a circle. So if you click like this, then you go down. That's it. If you click third, then your command will automatically end. So this is my arc. So here is the hatch. So you can either click this icon or in the command prompt, you can type H A T C H hatch. So you got hatch here, so you can enter. Once you click the hatch, now you got different uh, dialog box on the top. Okay, so whatever the style of hatch you want, you can click that. So as of now, my hatch style is like this single strike. If you want a double strike, you can click. If you want a solid hatch, you can click. Or if you want an angle hatch, you can click this pattern. And if you want to scale, if you want to change the scale of the hatch, you can change here. So I'm not going to change anything in, uh, in, in the scale. So for the explanation purpose. So you move the morph cursor to the place where you want to create the hatch. See, please remember for creating a hatch you need the closed space if your boundary is not closed then uh, the hatch won't appear you can't create hatch okay so you just place wherever you want your area to be hatched then you click that's it see again it asks me to pick the another internal point so I am going to end here. So please press escape to end the current command. I have created, then I have come out of the hatch command. Now again you go and click this hatch. Then again you will get the same dialog box on the top. So now you change the scale. So I will keep it as a 10 or even 15. Or even I can keep it as a 20. See it depends. So see. This is the perfect hatch or uh, even if you want to change the style or pattern pattern like now strikes you can even click here or this double strike whatever even sometimes we use a concrete hatch sometimes we use often uh, the sand hatch sand hatch and for those things uh, if you want to create a sand hatch you can click and you please change the scale. I'm gonna keep scale as a five or no, one. And keep it as a two. So now it looks like a sand. Or uh, even if you wanna create a concrete hatch, then you just go back in the pattern by clicking the hatch. You'll get this dialog box. Then uh, if you scroll in the pattern, you will get a AR con concrete. So you click it, then. Uh, this is not a perfect if you change the scale you will get good yeah so this is my concrete okay this is how we create a hatch see again as i said without closed boundary you cannot create a hatch see i am gonna uh, create a rectangular box by typing l and enter then i have to specify first point just click then uh, again click again then click again click again then click see here this rectangle is not closed so if you want to 
create a hatch for this it is impossible to create a hatch i'm gonna type h-a-t-c-h -H, hatch then press enter so now you got a dialog box so if i move the cursor here it has to appear but it is not appearing because it is not closed boundaries so it's, so if i move the cursor to this area so since it is closed it is appearing if you click then uh, you will you will get a hatch but here it is not appearing i am i have not clicked i have just moved the mouse mouse cursor so even if you want to create hatch for this even desperately if i click you will get the error dialog box so it means you now what it says is yes a closed boundary cannot be determined if that hatch command was not able to determine the closed boundary it won't create a hatch so i will just click close so again it shows two red arrow so that is where the boundary is, has not closed so then uh, you just uh, select the line you click the one end of the line see now you are stretching the line so this is the stretch command just click one end then you can move wherever you want to stretch okay now click so now we have created a closed suppose if i go for the hatch command see every time you no need to click h-a-t-c-h -H. now type so if you press the upper upper arrow so in the command prompt you just watch here in the command prompt whatever the previous command which we have used will appear like lastly we have used hatch before that we have used line before that we have used arrays just click the upper arrow once you get the hatch press enter no need to type again and again now you move the cursor to the closed area see i have not clicked yet i just moved then i will click that's it now you got the hatch so in this video we have seen the basic commands in the draw ribbon draw tool thank you for watching uh, please share this video uh, subscribe uh, the channel we'll see you in the next video tutorial